be here in person, seeing each other, whether you're here in person or whether you're on Facebook Live with us. Hopefully we're all connected. So um, this is going to be an interactive service. So we're going to need some interaction. It's been a while since we've been able to interact. And so I want you to be prepared for that. But now that we're all here and seated, you're welcome to remove your mask as you feel comfortable doing so. And we'll put them back on when we go to clean up. Um, and if you get up for like any reason, um, we just ask that you probably put the mask back on unless maybe you're walking around the back perimeter. That would be great. So the last time we got together in person was March 15th. Can you believe it? It's a long time. And during our children's story, on that Sunday, we shared some ways to greet one another. And so, while staying socially distant, I don't know if you remember, but Lee Mitchell came into the church and saw me and Kylea and went like this. <laughs> and it was super sweet to see him. So what I want you to do, I've got a couple other announcements to share, but what I want you to do is I want you to think about a way that you can greet somebody so you can, while remaining seated or while just standing up and like giving your sign. So you can like give a little heart or if you want to give an I love you sign or maybe a peace sign or if you want to do like a hang loose. But think about a unique sign to you. You've got a couple minutes to think about it. If you're with us on Facebook Live, come up with your favorite emoji or find a really cool gift to greet us with or just write a little greeting for us, okay? And then we'll have an opportunity for you to share as well. I do have a couple of announcements while you're thinking about what that greeting's gonna be. Um, we have a table over here that has hand sanitizer, it has bug spray, it has extra masks. Um, we also have some cookies to go. So all of you who have been longing for that cookie social, they're individually wrapped. You're welcome to grab one as the service ends. Also on that little stool, there's a box to receive an offering. We know it's been a little trickier to put in your offering as we've been online and to remember to mail in your check and things. So we've just set a box there and, and as you are able and if you feel led to do so, you can um, make that easily accessible to make a donation. All right, so do you have your little symbol? What's your sign? I'm gonna do the heart because I kind of like it. So what I want you to do is I want you right now, everybody, show me your sign. How are you gonna greet each other today? Peace signs, we got little hugs, we got double hands hands. Okay, so now what I want you to do is standing up where you are, like you can pivot and turn, look somebody in the eye and greet them with your sign. And as they give you your sign, exchange signs, right? So like, if someone gives me a peace sign, I'm going to give the peace sign back to them and give them my sign and then they're going to do their sign with me. Does that make sense? All right, so let's go ahead and greet each other, looking at each other face to face, and then making signs. <laughs>
testing. There oh, we go. There now. Yes, we do have some people who joined us on Facebook Live, and we have a comment from Terry Cox saying hello from the Coxes. All right. Rose, Sunny, Clark, hello, and Terry. Hello, this is my sign. We see a heart emoji coming up. And Terry Cox can hear us loud and clear, so that's great to see. <laughs> We've got several others watching too, so hello everybody online. That's so cool. All right. So we will continue, kind of remember that sign, because it might come back as the service continues. But for a call to worship this evening, it's coming from our hymnal number 663. It's actually the same call to worship that we used on March 15th when we were last together. And since we don't have our hymnals with us, I'm going to say a line and I'm just going to ask you to repeat it back to me. And if you're online, you can type it in the comments or use an emoji or a gift to help reflect what's being said in that line. So the first line is, the Lord is my light and my salvation. And together, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my stronghold and my life. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is the stronghold of our life, our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? Of whom shall we be afraid? One thing I ask of you, O Lord, and that I will pursue, to live in your house all the days of my life, to behold your beauty, and to seek you in your temple. Let's pray. God, it is so good to be together as a family of faith for this time of worship. Help us to feel your presence now as we worship you. Amen. Over and over again in scripture, the Bible reminds us not to be afraid. Throughout our time together, I'm going to be reading through some of these verses, and I may even read the same verse a few times through so we can just kind of marinate on the words. Are you, um, as you're kind of listening to these words, much like folks might say an amen or alleluia during a worship service, I invite you, if there's something in particular that's resonating with you, to just flash your sign, you know, whatever sign you have created. And if you're at home and you hear something, you can type an amen or give us a, a gif or an emoji, um, and that would be great. Our first scripture text is from 2 Timothy 1.7. For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. I want us to think about that for a minute. For God gave us a spirit, not, not of fear, but of power. A spirit of power. What does that look like for today? A spirit of love. A spirit of love. What does that look like today? And a spirit of self-control. To control what we say and what we do. Think for just a minute about what a spirit of power, what a spirit of love, and what a spirit of self-control looks like in this time for this in 1 John 4, verse 18, we hear these words. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishments, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Perfect love casts out fear. When I came to this text from 1 John 4, it reminded me of so much more within that chapter. So I want us to go back and start in verse 7. 
1 John 4, starting in verse 7, hear these words. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us. God, but if we love one another, no one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is made complete in us. And so we know, and we rely on the love God has for us, for God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in him. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment because in this world, we are like him. And then this is where we get to verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Our text from Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. If ever there was a time for prayer, it's probably here and now. For we know that we're too are three or gathered, whether we're here in person or online, God is present with us. So as we enter into this time of prayer, I want to spend some time praying especially for specific prayer requests. Again, this is going to be kind of interactive. If you are a medical professional, doctor, nurse, even retired, um, hospital staff, administrator in a doctor's office, physician assistant, pharmacist, home health nurse, nursing home employee, child care provider, or otherwise work in the medical field or other caregiving field. Can you just raise your hand? Yeah. And if you are online on Facebook Live, can you let us know if you are one of these medical professionals or other caregiving fields? Share an emoji with us. Sean, did anybody comment on that? Not yet. Okay. Let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks for these caregivers who care for us when we are in sick and in need. Thank you for giving them wisdom and knowledge and knowing how best to offer care and continue to keep them safe. Amen. If you are a delivery person 
FedEx, United States Postal Service, UPS, Ameri uh, Amazon driver, any other delivery service, or if you work in a grocery store, or other essential business. If you have been working as essential business during this time, can you raise your hand? Or if you're on Facebook Live, tell us if you fit into that category. Yeah, I know we have some of you with us. Do we have any comments online to share? Not at the moment. Then let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks for all of these employees who have worked so tirelessly to make sure that we have had the food and the clothing and other items that we have needed these past few months. Thank you for their energy when these days are long and hard. Amen. If you are a first responder, firefighter, paramedic, police officer, or other public servant, raise your hand. Working during this time. And if you are online, feel free now to comment if you are a fire, first responder, public servant, firefighter, police officer. Any comments? Yeah, what do you have? Terry Cox is a teacher. Terry Cox, we're getting to teachers in just a, just a moment. But let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks for all of those who serve to keep us safe, to protect our community, and to help us when we are in trouble. May they continue to do their job with dignity and integrity. Amen. This is for you, Terry. If you are a teacher, a principal, or other school employee, bus driver, cafeteria worker, custodian, if you're a parent of a school-age student, or if you are a student getting ready to head back to school or if you've started with school, go ahead and raise your hand or comment online. Yes, I know we have several of them. And that's where Terry is, right? <laughs> with the comments. A lot of emojis. Thumbs and hearts, got it, I could hear them, that's good. Then let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the dedication of our teachers who are navigating new territories and learning new skills to teach their students. We pray for parents and students as they start a new school year that's not like any other year they've had before. Keep their minds open to learning. Amen. We also know that there's many in our midst who are grieving the loss of a loved one someone in your family or a close friend who's died during this time and we haven't been able to gather as we have longed to do to celebrate their life. We know that there are some in our midst who are feeling very lonely or isolated during this time. We know that there are those among us just really struggling with hard days or hard feelings of sadness or grief, anger, depression, anxiety. I want to enter into a time of silent prayer. the matters of our hearts. You know where we are hurting, how we've been grieving, when we have felt lonely. Wrap your loving arms around us. Help us not to be anxious about anything, but rather to come before you in prayer about everything. Help us to feel your presence even now. Give us comfort. Give us peace. Give us hope. We pray. Amen. Our closing scripture for today is from Joshua 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. 
For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The Lord truly is with us wherever we go. God's with us even now. God will be with each one of us even as we leave this place. And I hope this time of seeing one another face to face and putting eyes on one another, being able to greet one another with signs has been a reminder of that presence of God to be in prayer with one another. I know this service hasn't been very long. We haven't really had an opportunity to sing together, uh, to have the choir share, but I did want to have this time of some scripture reading and some prayer and just be together as one community. So before we leave, I want us to think about that sign. If you are just joining us, at the start of our service, we asked folks to think of a way to greet one another in a socially distant way. So I had this little heart thing I was making, but I know we even had peace signs and some people might have given an I love you sign. So if you're just joining us, think about what your sign is. And I want us, again, to make eye contact and do it with everybody here if you haven't done it yet. And share your sign with them. Share your sign with one another. Let's share our signs together. giving us, I believe it's the I love you. We have David Smith with a thumbs up. We have uh, Terry Cox also waving. And we have Abigail Allen, who is watching us. That's awesome. Hey, Abigail, it's so good to see you. Mary Geisler is watching also. It's so good to see you, Mary. And Karen's watching. She's got parents and students. Jennifer Barbie is watching. It's been a long time since we've seen you. Jennifer, so good to see you. Leonard's here. And, yeah. Oh, and Allison is watching us all the way from Knox, or Nashville, so it's so good to see you. And Rose Cox is here. Sherry Wampler is watching with us. It's so great to have you all here worshiping 
with us. I honestly think that one of the best things about being the Manassas Church of the Brethren is the relationships that we have together and not being able to really see each other um, for these past several months has been hard. So we do have um, pre-packaged cookies. Um, we are at the place where, you know, again, we're gonna try to keep social distance and be safe. Um, we're gonna, you know, with clean up, we're asking you to put the masks back on for that. Um, but this is a pretty big field and we can stay socially distant pretty well out here. So if you would like to stay and fellowship and share your signs, um, I, you are invited to do so. It's just so great to have you all here with us. May you go with God's love and God's light. Amen.